Welcome back to the channel, I'm Lauren Fix. Today we're gonna to do something a little different. We are gonna get the first opportunity to test drive the 2021 Volvo XC40, but this is the first battery electric, all electric Volvo they've ever made. It is an XC40 with a different drivetrain and it's a completely different experience and we want you to see what Volvo's doing. This is the future of Volvo. Let's go for a ride. If this is your first time to the channel, we do a lot more than just first looks at really cool technology. We do car reviews. We give you great information so you can have car smarts. Make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. One of the things that's different about this vehicle over a regular XC40 is it is all battery electric. 402 horsepower, 480 pound-feet of torque. We will take you for an experience in this. It's going to be a little different than our Car Coach Reports rating, but I want to show you what this is about because this is a very unique car. Wow, this is really uh, interesting. So to start off, the first experience I have is you get in the vehicle, you put your foot in it, and it wants to go. It's an all-electric vehicle. There is no push-button start. Get in the vehicle, you pull the drive, sh shift lever back twice, and that starts the vehicle. Now, some people are say, oh, there's no push-button start. Well, why do you need it? If I had the keys to your vehicle, I could jump into anybody's vehicle and start it. It doesn't know, but this vehicle is smarter. It knows that there's an, at least someone of a certain amount of weight sitting in the seat because you won't want children to get into it. Now, what you're feeling, this forward motion that I'm experiencing right now, like it kind of pulls me forward, is the regen brakes. This is a battery electric vehicle. And because you're gonna get about two, just shy of 250 miles on a charge, uh, that's what it's doing, it's recharging. It's really an unusual experience. It is not like a golf cart. So some people say, oh, it's like a golf cart. No, no, no. This is Volvo proprietary uh, technology. It is something very similar to what you're gonna see uh, in like the Polestar, which we'll also review. So you can check that out on our channel. The interesting experience about this is it is a vehicle in its normal mode, but there are some big differences when it comes to technology. We'll start off with the center screen itself because there's no push button. The center screen itself is Google. So you can say, hey Google. So you can get anything you would get on your regular Google, you got Spotify, you've got a lot of your other things. Same interface, so you can look at your maps, it's Google Maps. Everything we're used to knowing and it shows you your EV connections. Now, people that know me know I'm not a big EV fan, but this is a really great option for those that live in the city and can get charging either at work or at home. Again, I would recommend that you at least look to see where your charging stations are to see if they're in your area. One of the things that's proprietary about Volvo and their charging is that it comes with a six foot cable that's stored in the front trunk known as a frunk. It has a very unique adapter so you can put it into 110 or 220. So wherever you are, you should be able to charge. And in some vehicles, you know, that's, that's the adapter's not there. So you have it all, it's all what you need. Um, going back to that center screen, you can listen to whatever music you like. Again, this is very different from what you're used to looking at. And then further down, you've got connecting your phone, you can play the news, you've also got the ability to switch your screens to whatever app you want to download. So I think using the Google Assistant, using the Google technology is what they're using in order to assist you when it comes to this screen. There's a lot of really neat things. It also includes on your driver and passenger side, heated seats and a heated steering wheel for the driver's side. Uh, you've also got your cameras, which are available at slow speeds. We'll show you that in a moment. Otherwise, this is an XC40, including the wireless charging, every single thing about it, except for the drive line. And I think that's what makes the recharge very different. Now, the regen brakes is something you must get used to. It is not normal for the average person to feel that kind of draw when you take your foot off the gas. So it's gas on, you lift. If you're one of those people that kind of like coast to a light, you won't be coasting because what? When you coast, it pulls you forward. It sucks in that energy to recharge the battery. So that's an interesting thing. There's a lot of neat safety features on top of that beyond safety because Volvo is known for safety. Boom. As far as handling in this vehicle, it handles no different than an XC40. You won't notice a different experience. And I think that's also important as well. It's got great acceleration. Feel that. Holy moly. That's crazy. Like I said, 402 horsepower, 480 plus pound feet of torque. That is a lot. Now, I think one of the neatest things when it comes to this vehicle is the fact that they used everything that appears to be the same, 
but the changes really come in that drive line. So you're getting that plug-in technology. Don't forget there's a $7,500 tax credit here in the US. In addition, there's $2,000 in some states, more in other states. And that could also save you some money. And then if you work for a company that offers another discount, just keep totaling them up because all those discounts will save you a ton of money. And that's really what it's all about for the consumer being able to get the most for their money. So when you buckle your seat belt, this is all part of the safety. And I take my seat belt off. It does show you that the seat belt is not on. So anyone in the second row says I got my seat belt on, but they don't. They're not telling you the truth. So it has adaptive cruise control. Wow. Talk about stopping. You gotta get used to that. Oh, that's cool. Check this out. So instead of it being regular buttons, you just touch it. It's not even a regular switch. That's awesome. to the back of the recharge it doesn't look any different than a regular xc40 but like i said it has a lot of neat things including a six foot charging cable that is very unique to volvo they designed it specifically they're telling me that we're going to see more of these coming out right now with a 250 mile range that's a pretty good start it does compete with other vehicles that are out there and getting into that suv marketplace and all electric is something a lot of states are demanding don't forget all those discounts that are coming with each state from the federal government, as well as possibly from your company. By the time you're done, they might be owing you money. Well, not really, but some of the prices are coming down very, very low, and you don't want to miss those opportunities if you're in the market for an EV. If you got value from this video, make sure to give it a like and a share. Put your comments down below. I have a lot of information on this vehicle and I'm happy to share it with you. You can't get too much out of the dealer because most of them don't have them yet. So we had a first look at this and we wanted to share it with you. Make sure to follow me on all forms of social media. Check out our website in English and in Spanish. Some great content you won't find anywhere else. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time.